Time out is Kel Cito, the spirit coach. Getting you in shape and form. For the new age of Aquarius, welcome to Let's Build Episode 7. Episode 7. And this episode. Woo! Shout out to Scorpio season. Scorpio season. Heavy waters. You know what I'm saying? Heavy water. And I just, you know, I just wanted to come in and chop it and just start it off by saying, uh, hold on, let me make sure that motherfuckers is, you know what I'm saying? If you got a dream, live that shit. You know what I'm saying? If you got a life, live that shit, okay? Live that shit, okay? Because it's, it's like it's like so sudden that we be and and what we be in other people's mind, right? But look, when I come from a space of, I like to come from a space of teaching, or not even teaching, but speaking on things that everybody can relate to. And you know what I'm saying? Everybody can, you know what I'm saying, pass around this common knowledge and things of that nature. So it's okay. It's okay for you to take time for yourself. You know what I'm saying? It's okay for you to to to, to be selfish. It's okay for you to... Um, um, not not have the answers, you know what I'm saying? That's what Scorpio season is about, you know what I'm saying? Scorpio season is being in the dark, you know what I'm saying? And also just going off deep intuition because we all got that deep feeling, you know what I'm saying? We got that deep feeling when we are uh, trying to take power and control over a situation. And really, you know what I'm saying? It don't really necessarily be the other people, you know what I'm saying, that we be trying to take power and control over, but our desires and things that may, this person may be a totally good person, right? This person may have a whole totally good heart, but your, but your desire, you know what I'm saying, that you were in when you met that person may play in an aspect of that person that may hinder you in some aspect. You know what I'm saying? So it's not the other person necessarily hindering you, but it's your own attachment to that person that's hindering you, you know what I'm saying, or, or not even, or or that person, place, or thing that's hit, hindering you, you know what I'm saying, and that's not up for anybody to decide, but you, you know what I'm saying. You want to necessarily be in a space where, you know what I'm saying, um, that that you, um, that you, um, you know what I'm saying. You 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 fighting with your you fight you you fight your own own demons. You handling your own demons. Don't let anybody. Um, handle your demons for you. You know what I'm saying? Don't let anybody handle your demons for you. AKA, that's you allowing, you know, shout out to, uh, shout out to Mari, bro. What up, bro? Yeah. You know what I'm saying? That's, you fight your own demons. That's, don't let anybody, um, uh, don't let people play don't let the person, the the spirit that's in the body, you know what I'm saying, aka the person, place, or the thing you're dealing with, don't let them, you know what I'm saying, um, and, and, and the, the physical fool you, you know what I'm saying? It's not about that. It's about motherfucking, it's about you having a discernment of, is this thing holding me back? Is this action that I'm taking with this person holding me back? Is this mindset that I'm taking with this person holding me back? Is this, you know what I'm saying? Because, and then when, when once you realize that it's not the person, you know what I'm saying? You will be able to be in a space of, it's not about it because it's never about the people. It's just about the spirits. You know what I'm saying? You, for instance, you like your friends because of maybe a habit, a, 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 a interest y'all both share. And things of that nature, right? But you also spend time in that area with that friend. You know what I'm saying? You also spend a bunch of time, a bunch of minutes, a bunch of your precious hours in that area with that friend and that thing. And not to say things not going to manifest and come good for that, but sometimes as spirits and bodies, we're not just supposed to be down here doing regular type of shit. You know what I'm saying? Other times we're supposed to be you know what I'm saying? We might be supposed to be getting knowledge from this thought, but how are we going to do that if we don't got the space or if we don't, if we ain't creating that for ourselves, if we ain't creating those, that, that energy out of our spirit for ourselves, how are we going to do that? You know what I'm saying? If we ain't being selfish in a sense. So, you know what I'm saying? You know, <clears throat> and selfish energy is not easy, bro. You know what I'm saying? It, it brings separation. It brings, it brings birth and birth is never easy birth even in the in a woman that's never easy you know what i'm saying so 
I'm just saying for every spirit, you know what I'm saying? Because this is every spirit and this is something that every spirit go go through with far as being, you know, trying to um 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 dealing with people. You know what I'm saying? We'll make that person we are we are we are we are we are maybe try to be detached from a, a, a habit, you know what I'm saying, or a or energy that you created with that person is what you're trying to detach from, not the actual person, you know what I'm saying, it's not the actual person, you know, um. And when you realize that, you know what I'm saying, that's a that's a higher way to think. And now to get out of a situation, to not not necessarily get out of a situation, but to 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 expend your energies, because you would never know if you don't try. You never know if you don't try it. So, but, you know, putting your energies in other places and other areas that you really want to put them into, aka to see if you fucking fail or not, if you fucking, but it's all about you as a spirit and what your, your, your soul believe. You know what I'm saying? Now, putting that energy in, that's going to take work. That's going to be like, that's going to be like a motherfucking, that's going to be like any other job out here. You know what I'm saying? Any other, any other job out here. Well, I wouldn't even say that at that, but you got to put some work in, though. You know what I'm saying? The energy you put in a situation is the same energy you got to use. So it's like a fight with the universe. The you, the energy you be fighting with, aka that resistance, the more you show the universe and God that you got a purpose and you, you know what I'm saying, and you and you you strong. And the purpose don't come from external from you. It comes from within. You know what I'm saying? It comes from within, and don't let don't let nobody. Take your purpose and, and 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 direct it in a way that they direct the day. It's not their purpose. It's your purpose. You gonna let somebody control your life if you do that. You know what I'm saying? So yeah, you might have to bust your ass a couple times. You know what I'm saying? But if you're really doing it for from a from a real space, you know what I'm saying? Where you know it 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 it, it, it um. You know what I'm saying? It's somewhere where you can, you know, connect with, you know, truly. And it's something that you just know as a spirit. As a spirit, that's what we do create. And, you know what I'm saying? And things of that nature, you know, it's that's what it is. And just, you know, it's not going to be easy because, like I said, these people can take it like you're trying to detach from them. And that's not the thing. It's more so, it'd be more so an energy signature. You know what I'm saying? For instance, like... If, if I can give you a prime example of this in 3D, <clears throat> and we to kind of talk about 3D shit too, so it's not, but it's 40 a little bit too, 40 and 5D a little bit, 60, 5D, 5D, 40, 5D, 60. But yeah, so um, you know, you ever had a friend, right? And you and like y'all smoke, y'all connected on smoking and shit like that, but y'all stopped smoking. You the one that stopped smoking, or whatever. <clears throat> and so because you stopped smoking. What did you do? You put down a habit. You put down something you was indulging in. You put down something, you know, that was that. Now, if y'all bond was based on, you know, if y'all bond was based on that, you know what I'm saying? Y'all connecting on that principle, you know, um, you know, uh, and you and you the one that stopped smoking, that person can look at you like, damn, you stop fucking with me. Like, they gonna look at you somewhere. They gonna turn their head up like, oh, this nigga don't smoke no more. And that's eventually gonna lead into a version of separation you know what i'm saying a version of a separation but shit you can't do nothing about that you gotta do that for yourself so another so another way to look at that is like when you doing um when we get into uh relationships and things of that nature you know what i'm saying we we uh we tend to get in we tend to get in them from ways of just like needing to be around someone you know what I'm saying? Needing to, you know, that comfort, needing that security, needing that person's mind, needing that person, what, you know, what this person thing, needing with that person thing. You know what I'm saying? It's like we, we tend to get in into relationships from that standpoint rather than getting into relationships, you know what I'm saying? Well, it don't, it don't, be, it don't be rather, but it'd be like whatever you into at the time and shit like that. But 
just because you got into that relationship like that don't mean that, you know, it ain't your life's purpose isn't to. <clears throat> I mean, you, you found your life purpose in that relationship. You get what I'm saying? You found your life purpose because like your life purpose might be to do something. You might come to realize to that and you might like, well, like if I need to do that, then I need to be spending more time in that. You know what I'm saying? And, um, and, um, I need to be spending more time in that, you know what I'm saying? And, and that might take away from your relationship, you know what I'm saying? Or just an energy in general. It could be an energy, whatever energy you want to spend in more time in or whatever. And it, um, and 3D is going to look like total destruction. You know what I'm saying? It's going to look like total destruction. It may, it may look in ways. It may feel in ways. You know what I'm saying? But overall, don't let nobody throw shade on your dream. Don't let nobody throw shade on what you're trying to build. Don't let nobody throw shade on your status because people will do that too. They'll look side... They'll, they have put on this energy like where it's like, <clears throat> where it's like they, you know what I'm saying? Where it's like, uh, like you crazy or something there, or like they'll leave you in a crazy space. You know what I'm saying? Or, or it's like, it's like that type of energy. It's like that type of energy. And it don't got to be that, you know what I'm saying? You know, but like I said, it don't really be that you, you're not de- really dealing with the person you dealing with the spirit that's in that or between y'all because we all create ors based like I said based on sharing thoughts and feelings based on sharing um based on sharing a mindset you know what I'm saying or something that we into so we all share that between each other you know what I'm saying and so with us sharing that between each other you know and you you know if it depending on how much you put into that orb or whatever shit that shit can look like the motherfucking worst thing to detach from, bro. You know what I'm saying? It could look like the worst thing. Shout out to Hick uh, Inten- International. I think that's what that is. Huck International. But yeah, based on how much energy you put into that orb, that can be like the worst thing to detach from. You know what I'm saying? That could look like, you know, it could look like anything. You know what I'm saying? It could look like, it can look like, you know what I'm saying? Like, you know, but it's going it, it got to look that way that's what you have to understand it has to look that way you know what i'm saying you don't get no change without just you know some type of structure destruction or dis- or just dis- destroying in a bit you know what i'm saying now for the for instance your percentage level always got to be your percentage level you know what i'm saying your percentage level always got to be your percentage level but manage you know what i'm saying and that's what it's always about it's about managing and putting your motherfucking time in, you know what I'm saying, to actually stand for whatever the fuck you want to stand for. Don't let nobody, only you get, only you know what you stand for though. Only you know. And then for the most part, it don't be, you got, you know what I'm saying? Sometimes that be like a feeling or sometimes that be like an intuition. Right now, you know, it might look, you know what I'm saying? You know, visions might look deep. Visions might look dark. Visions might look internally passionate just because we in Scorpio season right now. You know what I'm saying? So, um, yeah, overall, what is what is it really about? You know what I'm saying? What is it really about? It don't don't make it necessarily about an external person, place or thing. You know what I'm saying? When you on spirit time, be on spirit time. So if you feel internally motivated on spirit time, aka you got the spirit just to be you, just to be yourself, just to be in your energy and whatever you want to be into. And motherfuckers don't want to be a part of that. You know what I'm saying? They not supposed to be a part of that. Like I said, you don't have to necessarily find yourself in a certain, you know, a certain relationship with anybody and make, yeah, my bad. I don't know what happened. But yeah, you don't got to make necessarily make that the basis of who you are. You know what I'm saying? You don't got to make the, that the basis of who you are. You know what I'm saying? You always want to have some individuality and things of that nature. And that may look hurtful in a way. You know what I'm saying? That may look hurtful in a way. But shit. It just is what it is. You know what I'm saying? It just is what it is. But it's all about the spirit. It's, it's like, don't be... Don't be uh, don't be doing it for shit that purposes that ain't real because it ain't going to come out real. When it's always real, it's, you always going to have that energy to back it up in some way, shape, or form. You know what I'm saying? 
in that, in that time of need. Well, like, it's going to be like, no, well, you know what I'm saying? It's like, it's being made about this, but no, this ain't even about none of that. You know what I'm saying? This is about something, you know what I'm saying? Something that I'm into as a spirit and I have the the in, in, in intention and intuitive nature to to experience and, and and go out and to, you know, yeah, but man, you know, like I said, don't let nobody throw shade on what you got to do because it's your, it's your vision. It's your dream. You know what I'm saying? At the end of the day, you know, that's all we got. You know what I'm saying? We all, we all got our motherfucking shout out to million. Now, um, at the end of the day, that's what we, what we, we got, you know what I'm saying? We got what's internal and that becomes external. Remember that we got what's in, what's internal, AKA what's unseen then becomes external, but you got to deal with all those internal experiences and you got to, you got to fight those demons. So make sure you, wherever you spending your time at, it's really in a space of, you know, wherever you really want to and shit like that. And like I said, I know we get into these attachments and shit like that. And it'd be hurting. It'd be like ripping a bandaid off of just switching things up and having things go different ways and shit like that. But at the end of the day, it's your space. It's how you want to be, you know what I'm saying? You want to participate in this space and, um, <clears throat> You know what I'm saying? Shit, yeah. You know, you got to, but you're going to have to, like I said, you're going to have to fight your own, you're going to have to fight your own demons, though. You know what I'm saying? Through that other person. And it don't really be about the other person. You know what I'm saying? Like I said, it's just more so whatever y'all was connecting on and whatever. And if that's stressing you out, that's the demon and shit like that. And so, you know, take accountability. So everybody. You know what I'm saying? But yeah, so uh much love, man. Anybody uh, anybody got any questions or anything before I leave out? You know what I'm saying? I just kinda wanted to come in and give that energy and shit like that because yeah, man. Yeah, you gotta be careful, man. You gotta be careful. You gotta be careful because people will you know You just got to be careful. You got to be careful. You know what I'm saying? You don't want to be put in no, no space where you the crazy person or, you know what I'm saying? Or you, once you start to feel that, it's like, it's like, damn. Like, am I crazy to myself? And I know you're not crazy to yourself. You know what I'm saying? You ain't crazy to yourself. You know what I'm saying? Don't let nobody else convince you you're crazy to yourself. You know yourself. You feel me? But yeah, shout out to Elisa, yo, too. Much love to y'all, you know what I'm saying? Um, I know we going through Scorpio season and shit like that. You know, I'm glad y'all can find inspiration in this and shit because I'm trying to inspire myself every day. Um, and yeah, and I think it's going to be good. You know what I'm saying? We got a lot of transits going on right now. Um, one I will bring back up is motherfucking... Um, We got the motherfucking sun and Scorpio moon and Capricorn. And this is broadcasting hidden emotions. So we are broadcasting, but it can look like for a secret agenda or something or an internal passion, which y'all just saw me do that. You know what I'm saying? I broadcast my deep emotions on y'all and shit like that. So yeah, with the moon away in Capricorn, I need to initiate a new security status and boundaries arise. You know what I'm saying? So everybody feel the need to initiate and stand on something, a security level, you know what I'm saying? Make sure you're standing on your security. Make sure you state who you are. You know what I'm saying? Make sure you make sure you feel comfortable. Make sure you people want you to feel make sure people around you want you to feel comfortable with whoever you are. Even if it's you know what I'm saying, even if it's scary, they might not understand it, but that's how you want you want them to feel, you know what I'm saying? You want them to feel. And but you, like I said, you the spirit, so you got to take responsibility for that. You got to take responsibility for how far you go, how, you know what I'm saying? So make sure you being real with yourself too, you know what I'm saying? But just keep that, you know what I'm saying? But yeah, so this could be an opportunity for you to protect uh, your feelings for your own purposes, keyword, own, consider self percentage, all right? I was just talking about that. I was just talking about that. So yeah, 
Woo! I'm glad I had to get that off. You know what I'm saying? Motherfuckers is out here chilling. Um, yeah, so anybody that's feeling alone, you know what I'm saying? I'm here for you. You know what I'm saying? Anybody that's internally motivated, you know what I'm saying? I'm here with you. You know what I'm saying? We all dealing with these transits and shit together and things of that nature. And uh, yeah, but just just know yourself. Know yourself. And uh, yay, much love. I'll be back, you know what I'm saying? Let's build episode seven. Um, get y'all less in the game. <laughs>